Welcome, fellow luxury queens. Today, we're delving into a crucial aspect of travel safety, understanding the high-risk areas in Nigeria. While Nigeria offers an array of captivating destinations, there are regions that pose substantial risks to travelers. In this video, we'll explore places with a lot of beauty but also should be approached with caution due to security concerns. Northeastern states Borno, Yobi, Kogi, and Northern Adamawa. Let's delve deeper into the high-risk areas in Nigeria, starting with the northeastern states, Borno, Yobi, and Northern Adamawa. These regions have garnered attention due to their beauty but most of all, because of the history of terrorism and kidnapping, which has created an environment of persistent danger. The presence of extremist groups, such as Boko Haram and splinter factions, has fueled ongoing conflicts, leading to instability that poses grave threats to travelers. Terrorist organizations have targeted both locals and foreigners, including tourists, in their attacks. Their motives range from ideological beliefs to financial gains through ransom payments. The combination of ideological extremism and criminal opportunism has resulted in a volatile and unpredictable security landscape. In these states, the security forces are engaged in ongoing efforts to counter these threats. However, the situation remains complex and fluid, making it difficult to ensure the safety of travelers. The risk of kidnappings for ransom is particularly concerning. Travelers have been abducted from both urban and rural areas, emphasizing the far-reaching reach of these groups. In urban areas, crowded streets and bustling markets can provide cover for criminals. Opportunistic kidnappers might take advantage of distracted individuals, targeting those who are engrossed in their phones or unaware of their surroundings. They may quickly grab their victim and flee, seeking escape routes through alleys or crowds before anyone can react. This is why staying alert and aware of your surroundings is crucial, especially in busy environments. In rural or less populated areas, kidnappers might employ different strategies. This could involve setting up roadblocks or fake emergencies to divert vehicles and isolate their targets. Travelers may encounter apparent car trouble, prompting them to stop and assess the situation. Unfortunately, this can lead to an ambush, with criminals taking advantage of the isolated setting to carry out their plans. Even in tourist spots or landmarks, criminals can find opportunities. They might pose as guides, offering assistance or information to visitors. So whether you're in a bustling city, a remote area, or a tourist hotspot, the key is to stay cautious, trust your instincts, and prioritize your safety. Borno State. Let's start our adventure in Borno State, which is in the northeastern part of Nigeria. 
Once upon a time, it was known for its beautiful nature and cultural importance. The land had wide open spaces called savannas and big mountains. This mix of different places showed how diverse Nigeria's land is. The beauty is still there, but we have to remember the past troubles. Yobi State. Now, we're moving to Yobi State, which is next to Borno. Yobi used to be famous for its mix of nature and culture. The land goes from dry areas called Sahel to the pretty shores of Lake Chad. The history of old empires and cultures also added to its charm. However, there are some bad groups causing trouble now. Because of this, Yobi isn't as safe as before, and we should be careful when we visit. Northern Adamawa State. Our last stop is Northern Adamawa State, found in the northeastern part of Nigeria. This place is known for its calm beauty, there are hills, thick forests, and peaceful valleys. Everything here is natural and untouched, making it a peaceful spot for people who live there and for visitors. The calm feeling of Northern Adamawa comes from the untouched land. There are tall hills to see far, and valleys that make you feel calm. History, the people, people here have their own tradition, traditions, which adds to the peaceful feeling. But sadly, problems from other places have come here too. Even though the beauty and culture are still here, we need to be aware that there are some safety challenges now. The beauty of these states once shone through their landscapes and communities. Borno's rich history, Yobi's diverse landscapes, and northern Adamawa's serene valleys all now overshadowed by ongoing conflicts. The presence of extremist activities has led to an atmosphere of tension and violence. This has made these areas hazardous for travelers. Kidnappings for ransom are also rampant, adding another layer of danger. Before we continue with our video, tell us first, if Nigeria were a book, what would be its title, and what captivating chapters would it hold? Share us your thoughts in the comment section below. Coastal areas Aqua Ibom, Bielsa, Cross River, Delta, and Rivers, excluding Port Harcourt. Now, let's shed light on yet another set of high-risk areas in Nigeria, the coastal regions. Aqua Ibom, Bielsa, Delta, and Rivers states, excluding Port Harcourt, find themselves grappling with a mix of crime, kidnapping, and maritime criminal activities. These picturesque coastal areas have become synonymous with risks, both on land and at sea. While these coastal states offer breathtaking landscapes and the allure of the sea, they are also plagued by a host of security challenges. Criminal activities, including robbery and kidnapping, have cast a shadow over the once idyllic settings, creating a situation that demands caution from those seeking coastal experiences. Aqua Ibom. Nestled in Nigeria's southern embrace, Aqua Ibom invites wanderers with its breathtaking coastal panoramas and a rich tapestry of cultural heritage. This state holds a treasure trove of natural wonders, showcasing unspoiled beaches and verdant tropical landscapes that have enamored explorers for generations. It's a destination that whispers promises of both tranquil relaxation and exhilarating adventures. Yet, it's imperative to acknowledge that this picturesque facade has encountered challenges, notably in the form of crime and kidnapping. The safety of visitors has been compromised by criminal activities that can cast a shadow even over the most enchanting of surroundings. Bielsa. Venturing into Bielsa, often hailed as the glory of all lands, we find ourselves amidst the heart of the Niger Delta region. This state's geography unfolds as a mosaic of stunning coastal attractions, expansive mangrove forests, and intricate waterways. The convergence of these elements crafts an ecotourism haven, offering promises of distinctive encounters. However, this state's potential has been hindered by security apprehensions, including the unsettling presence of crime. Delta State. Now, let's explore Delta State, which is right in the heart of the Niger Delta region. It's a place where you'll find lots of different cultures and natural wonders. The coastline of this state is covered in healthy mangrove trees and has a special charm that pulls in travelers who want unique and immersive experiences. But even though it looks calm on the outside, there are some problems like crime and kidnapping that can make the journey less enjoyable. Rivers State, excluding Port Harcourt. Moving on to Rivers State, which is famous for its lively capital, Port Harcourt. But there's more to it, there are beautiful coastal areas that are really captivating. These places mix the chance to learn about different cultures with the beauty of the coast. Travelers are likely to fall in love with these spots. 
However, remember that when we explore Delta's offerings, there are challenges we need to think about, like security problems. We need to be careful. These coastal areas of Nigeria, from Aqua Ibom to Rivers State, paint a complex picture of beauty and challenges. The stunning landscapes, rich culture, and unique experiences they offer are undeniable. Yet, the security concerns that accompany them demand our careful consideration as travelers. Exploring these regions requires a balance between appreciating their allure and acknowledging the potential risks. As responsible travelers, it's essential for us to prioritize our safety and make informed decisions. And there you have it, dear luxury queens, a comprehensive look at the areas to approach with caution when traveling in Nigeria. We've covered everything from the region's unique beauty to the security challenges they present. Remember, your safety should always be a top priority during your travels. While these regions may offer enchanting landscapes and cultural experiences, it's essential to make informed decisions and heed travel advisories to ensure a secure journey. If you found this video informative and helpful, don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up and share it with fellow travelers who might benefit from this information. Thank you for joining us, and remember that responsible travel not only enriches your experiences but also ensures a memorable and secure journey. Until next time, travel wisely and travel well. Safe travels. For an unforgettable and stress-free vacation experience, look no further than Blue Sky Holiday Deals. Our goal is to ensure that you have an absolute blast during your getaway. Don't miss out on the vacation of a lifetime.